Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon, and this week is a chocolate episode. And you have requested to know how to make the chocolate sphere that was on top of the Instagram dessert. You will need some tempered chocolate and a hemisphere mould. This can either be a silicon one like I've got here, or I'll show you a plastic hard one in a little minute. Place some of your tempered chocolate into the mould and using your spoon spread it up the sides. Then shake it upside down to remove any excess chocolate. Scrape off the extra from around the edges and then leave it upside down to set. If you're using a smaller mould then you can fill it with the chocolate and leave it for a moment and then tip it out just like we did with the truffles. And once you've tipped out the excess chocolate again just leave it upside down to set. If you want it to be two toned, then wait for the first colour to set and then add a second coat in another chocolate, which you can either colour some white chocolate using oil based food colouring or you can just use your white chocolate and your dark chocolate as a contrast. Once they're set, they should just fall out of the hard mould if you tap it on the bench. With the silicon mould, just press your thumb in the centre and pop it out of the mould. Next to make our holes, you need to find something that you've got in your kitchen that's metal and round and then we just need to heat that up. You can either use a brulee torch to do that or sit it in some hot water. If you're using water, make sure you dry it well before you use it. I'm just using a metal piping tip here and so that you don't get fingerprints on your chocolate, if you wear a silicon glove, it helps insulate the chocolate from the heat of your hands. Now if you're using real chocolate, the heated metal will just melt through that quite easily. If you're using fake chocolate, it's got a higher melting point, so it's going to take longer to melt through, and you might need to heat the circle twice. If you have no idea what I'm talking about with tempered chocolate, real chocolate, fake chocolate, make sure you click at the end of this video to go to the chocolate playlist and watch the video on tempering and on what chocolate to use, and then it will all make sense. Now I like to have a couple of different sized holes, so here I'm using a cannoli tube. You can use anything that you've got that's metal and round. Now remember before you join the two halves together, if you want something inside them, you need to do that now. There are a few options for joining the two halves together. You can spread chocolate on the edge using a knife and then join the two halves together. This is hard to do well because if you don't work fast enough, the chocolate starts to set and then it can make the join uneven, kind of pushing the two halves apart rather than joining them together. The next option is to place a baking tray in the oven until it's just warm and put the halves onto the tray and then join them together. This makes the neatest join, but if you're not fast enough with pulling it off the tray, you're going to lose height on your halves and end up with a kind of deflated looking ball instead of a perfect sphere. The third option, which is probably the easiest, is to spread some chocolate flat onto some baking paper. Dip one half of your sphere into the chocolate, give it a swirl around and then join the two halves together quickly. Using a knife, just gently scrape off any excess chocolate. If you have any little gaps in your join, you can spread some extra chocolate on top and then just scrape it off with a knife again. The instructions on how to make the swirls of chocolate that were on either side of the sphere on the Instagram cake can be found on the chocolate transfer sheet decorating video. So click on the chocolate playlist to find that and also the tempering one if you haven't seen that before. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week with a cake. Don't forget to put your requests below and have a great week. Bye.